The XM4 has been slept on for far too long, and in the Season 5 Reloaded patch, we're kind of seeing it come back into the meta. And by kind of, I mean it. it's insanely good. It's easy to use, it's very mobile, and it has a couple different variations on the loadout that you can do. If we jump over the true game data, we can take a look at some of the stats here. And on the chart here, for TTK, for 300 HP chest shots only, we can see that at long range, the XM4 really only gets shined out by the UGM in this green color and the Cooper Carbine in this blue color. Other than that, it takes a steaming dump on all of the other meta loadouts such as the kilo in this blue color the craig 6 the m4a1 in this brownish color and then the automaton in this pinkish color here now i know this chart looks a little misleading because the cooper carbine really does have way faster ttk at, at all ranges than the xm4 but i do want to have you keep in mind that if you're looking at damage per mag that's where the XM4 will really shine. Now for the XM4, we have this orange line here at 1680 damage per mag, whereas the Cooper at the same range, this blue line down below is at 1560. And then after that, it wildly drops off to 1380 for all ranges, whereas the XM4 stays pretty healthy around that 1500, 1600 range. I just want to remind you of the recoil pattern because it's a little bit weird as it is a 556 five, round recoil pattern. So there's a bit of side wobble. So you can see the recoil pattern here in this bright orange line going up and to the right pretty aggressively but it's very easy to manage if you just hold down left but just keep that in your mind as you're going to use this loadout. Finally, I want to look at two more key metrics being the bullet velocity and the movement speed. If you look at the XM4 compared to the Cooper Carbine, where the Cooper Carbine is only at 865 meters per second, whereas the XM4 is all the way up at 1107. And that is actually one of the faster bullet velocities in the current meta. And then if we jump down to the movement speed here, we can see that the movement speed for the XM4 is 4.7 meters per second, whereas the Cooper Carbine, which again, I'm just trying to compare these two too, because they are very close in ease of use and viability but the cooper carbine is all the way down to 4.3 meters per second which is actually slower than the ugm and the ugm's an lmg and now i want to jump over to the build but anyways here's the build first off you're going to want to go with the agency suppressor next is going to be the task force barrel third will be the axial 3x and here's where you can do some fun stuff if you want to go with the microflex led you can actually use this more as like a sniper support and i'll get into that a little bit more in the mag the fourth attachment for the long range in quads and trios is going to be the 60 round in solos and duos you can get away with the 45 round although there's not much of a movement speed penalty for either of them so it doesn't really matter but if you're going to use this more as a sniper support then i suggest using the 45 round mag and finally for the under barrel is going to be the field agent grip which really helps you hone in that recoil control that we talked about earlier and that's it i hope you guys liked digging into the stats a bit more on true game data and showing you not only that we can back this up with gameplay but actual true facts so if you do like that kind of video be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more and stick around for the caldusi gameplay that we got coming up thanks and i'll see you in the next one